The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. As a result of Allied forces' successful actions in Kharkov direction near Vernapolia and Krasnopolia, the losses of the 30th mechanized and the 95th Airborne Assault Brigades of Ukrainian armed forces amounted to over 200 servicemen. Units of the 46th Air Mobile Brigade of Ukrainian armed forces have been defeated near Lozovoye in Kherson region after another attempt to stealthily cross the Ingulets River. The enemy suffered losses of over 130 fighters and 10 pieces of military equipment as a result of operational and tactical aviation strikes by the Russian Aerospace Forces against the combat positions of the units of the 107th Battalion of the 63rd Mechanized Brigade of Ukrainian Armed Forces near Kvitnevoye in Nikolaev region. Over 40% of the unit's personnel have been destroyed as a result of high-precision strikes by Russian Aerospace Forces against the 14th Mechanized Brigade temporary deployment points up to 100 nationalists, three Groatem LRS combat vehicles and over 10 vehicles and armored vehicles have been destroyed in Dargachi of Kharkov region. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery strikes continue against military facilities in Ukraine. Seven Ukrainian command posts of the 102nd Brigade of Territorial Defense of Ukrainian Armed Forces near Chervonoye in Zaporozhye region, Kraken Nationalist Formation near Kharkov have been hit, as well as 37 artillery units, 142 areas of manpower and military equipment concentration, six missile and artillery weapons and ammunition depots near Seversk, Solidar, Kodema in Donetsk People's Republic, Chervony Yar in Nikolaev region, and Nova Voronsovka in Kherson region have been destroyed. High-precision ground-based weapons near Preobrazhenka in Dnepropetrovsk region have destroyed a large ammunition depot belonging to the 44th Artillery Brigade of Ukrainian Armed Forces with US-made HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems and shells for the US-made M777 howitzers. As part of counter-battery warfare, four platoons of Grad multiple launch rocket systems have been suppressed near Paraskovievka, Adamovka, Zvanovka in Donetsk People's Republic and Barmashova in Nikolaev region, as well as three platoons of Gvozdika self-propelled artillery systems near Konstantinovka, Privolye of Donetsk People's Republic and Visunsk in Nikolaev region. Three platoons of Getsin B howitzers have been also suppressed at firing positions near Orekovo, Vesolo and Nikolaevka in Donetsk People's Republic. Russian aerospace forces have shot down one MiG-29 aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force near Malinovka in Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, one Buk M1 surface-to-air missile launcher have been destroyed near Grigorovka. Russian air defense means have shot down seven Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Nova Grigorovka in Donetsk People's Republic, Andreevka, Glinskoye, Babenkovo, Kudoyarovo, Borshovka in Kharkov region, and Burdansk in Zaporozhye region. In addition, one Tochka U ballistic missile near Chernobyevka and 18 shells of US made HIMARS multiple launch rocket system have been intercepted near Nadnepranskoye, Aleksandrovka, Solnichnoye, Skidnoye in Kherson region, as well as near Antonov. Bridge. In total, 274 Ukrainian airplanes and 148 helicopters, 1,820 unmanned aerial vehicles, 370 anti aircraft missile systems, 4,397 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 822 multiple launch rocket systems, 3,348 field artillery and motors, as well as 5,084 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. The Kyiv regime continues conducting acts of nuclear terrorism at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Over the past 24 hours, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces shelled the station's territory three times. A total of 17 shells were fired, four of which hit the roof of special building number one, where 168 assemblies of the U.S. Westinghouse nuclear fuel are stored. Ten more shells exploded 30 meters from the dry storage facility for the spent nuclear fuel, and three more exploded near special building number two, which houses TVEL's fresh nuclear fuel storage unit and solid radioactive waste storage facility. Ukrainian artillery shelling of the nuclear power plant was carried out from Margonitz area in Dnepropetrovsk region in the course of counter-battery warfare in the area. One American M777 howitzer was discovered and destroyed. 
Radiation situation at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant remains normal. The technical condition of the nuclear power plant is monitored and maintained by staff technicians. Russian specialized military formation is guarding the outer perimeter of the station. There are no heavy weapons in the vicinity of the nuclear power plant.